All right, so the next spotlight session is called The Vision of HL Builders. Um, so I would like for you to please help me welcome uh, uh, the co-founder and president of Horizon Labs, Dean Steinbeck. Welcome. Thanks, Angie. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you guys for being here, uh, sticking around. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Dean Steinbeck. I'm a co-founder at Horizon Labs and the president of Horizon Labs as well. Today, I will be walking us through uh, the vision of HL Builders. If you were here uh, for an earlier panel, I sort of alluded to it, but I'm excited to walk through it with you in, in more detail. Let's see if I can, ah, not so complicated. Rob made it seem very complicated. It's pretty straightforward. Um, okay, so the agenda. So uh, before I go into what is HL Builders, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the birth of Horizon Labs Advisory which is the team that, that Rohan leads, um, talk a little bit about where we're at today, and then talk about HL Builders and its vision. Okay, so where did it all begin? It started September 2020, uh, when a very small BD team, and Casper's uh, somewhere here, right there, played a, a very integral part in launching uh, our BD team, and at that time, our goal was to find um, POCs, uh, proof of concepts, for partners who would build in the Horizon ecosystem. And for about one year, uh, that's what we focused on, and we were incredibly successful. Uh, we had uh, projects signed up like Hedera, IOTA, Dash, Symbiont, all major players. And until maybe a month ago, Celsius was also an extremely valuable and uh, prestigious design partner. Unfortunately, uh, they imploded and, and we never actually implemented the proof of concept that we had built for them. In September 2021, actually, we uh, signed up as a launch partner in ApeCoin. And that's really a pivotal moment where we transitioned from sidechain proof of concepts to being a Web3 crypto first uh, advisory team. And at that point, we focused uh, not just on delivering for the ApeCoin community, but really looking beyond uh, ApeCoin and Yuga Labs and into Web3 itself. When ApeCoin was delivered in March, uh, by that time we had scaled and built out our advisory team uh, that, that Rohan leads. And I think now at this point, we're six or seven uh, team members in, in just the advisory portion. And we started signing up really incredible partners. So uh, Eleven, uh, Gutter Cat Gang, uh, you know, other side. Um, and the list keeps growing. And so we have developed what I would say is uh, one of the best, if not the best, Web3 advisory teams. Which leads us to where we're at today. So just a quick snapshot. Uh, you can see the size of our team has grown from when it was me, Caspers, and Vano uh, making phone calls. Now our team is actually quite large, very sophisticated with respect to Web3. You heard the panel beforehand, our strategic investment team blows me away every time I speak to them. Um, so we are a very capable, competent team uh, doing really cool stuff. So just 2022, we've uh, launched ApeCoin, of course, which you've heard about. We launched uh, the Other Deeds NFT, which was the largest land sale in the metaverse. We launched the 11 Captains Club NFT collection. And slated for the remainder of 2022 is the Gang Token, the Ape Staking Protocol, and the Knights of Degen. All three very impressive projects. Um, what we do typically, and I, I'm not going to go through each of these in detail, but uh, what Rohan and his team do is really everything from A to Z. So whatever a Web2 company looking to get into Web3 or a Web3 company who needs assistance seeks to accomplish within the space, our team provides input every step of the way. So from concept and strategy all the way to launching the DAO. Um, side note, we launched or helped and participated in the launch of the ApeCoin DAO as well, and so very sophisticated with respect to DAO and improvement proposals. 
And, uh, you know, we've talked about it a lot. We were responsible for, or significantly participating in the ApeCoin token launch. One of the most successful coin launches of all time, certainly 2022. Um, and I think what I'm most proud of in, in this process was our execution. So the, every detail of this launch was executed, in my opinion, flawlessly uh, from, you know, the 48 day one exchange listings. Um, I mean, that just like the magnitude of that was uh, represents a tremendous amount of work. Uh, you know, the, the media coverage, the market making, everything that you can think of that goes into a token offering, we had planned out every detail. And so oftentimes I like to say there, there are two ways to launch a token. One is to YOLO it, you only live once. The other way is to do it the Horizon Labs way, which is to sometimes excruciatingly, uh, you know, think about every detail. And today, as we mentioned, we have an incredible list of partners that we're working with, and the list keeps growing. Okay, so uh, what is Horizon Labs Builders and its vision? This is really the next step of where we're at today. So today we have an incredible advisory practice. We have an incredible strategic investments team. HL Builders is kind of the synergy between them, putting it all together. Um, so what is Horizon Labs Builders? Uh, this is a division within Horizon Labs, first of all, uh, who, whose focus is to work with companies uh, and bring new Web3 ventures uh, to market. There are really three um, important pieces to HL Builders, and that's the advisory practice, which we've talked a lot about, uh, the investment arm, which is You've heard a little bit from Colin and his team. Uh, and then last but not least, if, if Maurizio's here, is the tech delivery piece, which is, there's Maurizio, which is extremely important uh, because when we're working with these uh, partners, they're relying on us to implement, uh, you know, sometimes extremely complicated technology, even though it sounds very simple. Um, but to do it and to do it well uh, are two different things and I'm very proud of the competency of our team. Um, okay, so what is advisory? Uh, you guys know what it is, I've talked a lot about it. I think what stands out here as being slightly different, um, a, a slight expansion of how we've previously handled our advisory practice is the incubation model. Um, now, I'm using that term, I know there are many VCs here, uh, and so I know incubation is a term of art within your industry. That's not how I mean it here, so you can think of this as uh, venture studio, accelerator, incubation, the, the exact terminology uh, isn't what, what's important here. Uh, what's important is that we plan to work with one or two companies a year and really help seed and uh, fund and build this business through our advisory and investment practices and take a, a meaningful uh, position in that company and, and ensure that it succeeds. Um, the advisory practice, so we're aiming to accomplish, let's say, 12 projects a year, which is fairly ambitious. Uh, that's one a month. Right now, we're, we're more like one every three months, every four months. Um, and uh, we're hoping that this is an incredible funnel for investment opportunities. Now I'll say in the, in the last six months uh, since ApeCoin launched, we've had a number of incredible investment opportunities come our way, but we weren't really set up to take advantage of it. And so our hope is that um, with the launch of what we're calling internally, at least HLBF, Horizon Labs Builders Fund, we will be able to take advantage of those opportunities and they will work synergistically with our advisory team. Um, so what is HLBF? HLBF is a Web3 investment fund. Uh, it will focus on the projects that we at Horizon Labs are working on in our advisory practice uh, and ones that we believe in deeply. Um, so this is not going to be a 
uh, spray and pray, I think is the term. This is not going to be, you know, $100,000 to anyone who sends in an application. This will be done in a very thoughtful way in projects that we believe in. And we uh, believe with our network of VCs that are part of our ecosystem and that we partner with that we're hoping that they will participate and, and help HLBF uh, succeed in, in helping these ventures fund themselves. Um, in terms of our structure, um, so we're looking again to invest meaningful capital uh, and be active in, in terms of our involvement. Again, this is not just going to be a passive fund that, that makes a lot of bets and, and just um, sees what happens. Uh, we, we really plan for HLBF to be hands-on. Um, in terms of the tech delivery, so this is a really important piece that I mentioned before, um, and it's really tricky to get right. Uh, so what we're looking to do is ensure that our technology delivery team is able to handle the advisory work that comes in and is able to support the investments team in terms of the diligence that they do on, on potential investments. Um, but I think even more than that, and I know Maurizio will appreciate me saying this, the tech delivery team is really the counterpart to the business advisory team. So, for example, with uh, you know, Yuga Labs or take any of our partners, there are often business and technical pieces that need to be covered. Rohan and his team manage the business process. Uh, Maurizio and his team manage from a client perspective the technology piece. Yes, Zane and team build uh, and do an incredible job, but it's Maurizio and his team that are responsible for ensuring that the customer has a good experience and that, they, that their desires are properly expressed and conveyed to our technology team. So um, in the end, what do we have? Uh, this is called the flywheel effect. This to, to us is a very synergistic extension of what we're currently doing where advisory feeds investment, investment feeds advisory, uh, supported by our technology, of course. Um, we have, you know, existing uh, in-house expertise in Web3 in all components of Web3, uh, from advisory and even in investments, uh, as you've heard earlier. We have a giant network of investors, uh, exchanges, marketplaces, builders, developers, you name it. Um, and frankly, this is already a profitable division within Horizon Labs from day one. So we're very excited. Uh, this is a work in progress. It, it is launching, uh, we'll call it like a soft launch. We're doing these things, but um, in order to get HLB up, HLBF up and running. Uh, we're still figuring out some details. There's legal issues to work out. There's technical issues to work out. But this is the vision, um, and we're really excited about it. And I guess uh, that's it. I don't know. If, do we take questions? No questions, right? No, no questions. Anyway, thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it. <laughs>